This cheerful game is Doom 3 for the original Xbox, playable on the Xbox 360. Which was donated to Classic Game Room by Joe in Chicago. He sent this as a thank you for the hours of entertainment that Classic Game Room has given him, and I think that Joe assumed that I would enjoy this game. Do you know what happens when you make an assumption like that? You make me very happy because you assumed correctly. Doom 3 is beyond awesome. It's beyond rad. Doom 3 is dandy. Now I have a chainsaw. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. <laughs> this is Paul Simon, security specialist in IT. Our network security has been breached several times over the last few days. Now, it looks like it may have been going on longer than that, but whoever did this really knew what they were doing. They covered the tracks really well. I just happened to notice some log anomalies or it would still be going on. The audio tapes in this game give Bioshock a run for its money. Security in that complex. I can only tell it came from within Delta. They move the story along very effectively. They're well acted. And they're creepy. System had access to all personal data, including medical reports. You know what this game reminds me of is Dead Space mixed with Bioshock. In the block. Now, obviously, I played Doom first, the original Doom, the masterpiece, and Doom Three has so much in common with the first Doom. Most notably, that things will always attack you when your back is turned pull a switch and it's like, oh, there was a hidden door right behind me with 15 monsters in it. Who knew? And they're all very, very angry that I'm standing here shooting at them. You know what this review needs? More chainsaw. When the creepy voice says, use us, it's time to party, because Doom 3 rocks. Well, the action is excellent, and the storyline is cool. Space Marine, on Mars, horrible alien artifacts have been discovered, and all kinds of craziness ensues. What really makes Doom 3 awesome is the environment, and the detail. It's such a well-crafted game, like they put detail into every single corner, as much as they could. Like its older sibling, this is a game that's way ahead of its time. I'm staying on the train until we get to Delta. Then you're on your own. Remember, safety first. Please do not exit the vehicle without wearing proper environment... <laughs> Just when you get accustomed to the environment and feel like the game is a standard science fiction shooter, it reminds you that it's Doom. Doom 3 makes most sci-fi action shooters its bitch. The only games that even come close are Dead Space, Bioshock, and a couple of the other top-notch ones like the Fear series. You know what's fun playing this game late at night in the basement? Doom 3 is designed not only to give you a great time, but also give you a heart attack while doing it. <laughs> it keeps you on edge the entire game. As you can probably tell, it's a very dark game. And like the original Doom, there's a lot of hidden items and passageways hiding in the corners. And you know how it is. Chainsaw first, ask questions later. There is a nice selection of weapons in Doom, including some old favorites. Sound design is half the game in Doom 3. Playing this one on the Xbox 360 with an HDMI cable and surround sound is the experience you want. Considering the number of enemies lurking in the corners, you really want to hear them behind you. If you're having a high anxiety day, play Barbie Horse Adventures instead of Doom 3. 
Although this is actually a better game. They were there once. Lost it in the dawn of time. Now it's so close. They can taste it. It's up to you now. <laughs> Doom 3 was originally released in 2004 for PC. It's easy to find today, and this is the Xbox Limited Collector's Edition, which packs not only Doom 3, but Doom 1 and Doom 2 as well, including some other special features in a very nice package, which was graciously donated by Joe. Thank you once again, and uh, thanks to everyone for your support. The comments, the games, just, just watching it keeps classic game room going. And I appreciate it, and I hope that uh, those of you who have not played Doom 3, who think this looks cool, find a way to play it, because this really is one of the best science fiction shooters ever made. 2145. I've been brainstorming on Petruger's thoughts about achieving sustained, uninterrupted transfers for the teleportation. Currently, our system's Your hell, your awaits. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the core committers in the chamber, and witnesses say he appeared to see something. It's almost like uh, something was talking to him, and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight, as it took off the backside of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you could consider that living... 